What's up, it's Coach J Pro, and we're back with another round of reflex bag workouts. Let's go! Today we have a four round cardio boxing reflex bag workout for all levels. Now let's go ahead and throw those gloves on. We're gonna jump into a little active warm up to shake it out. We're gonna open up our warm up with an arm across the chest. Start to stretch those shoulders out. Anytime we're going into a boxing workout, we always wanna approach it with a nice, loose and relaxed upper body. I'll switch arms here. If you feel like your speed, power, accuracy isn't where you want it to be, Chances are you're a little too stiff in the upper body, holding on to too much tension. You want to keep it nice and relaxed, only tensing up when you connect with your back. Let's transition to neck circles here, nice and slow. Switch direction. Okay, let's go to calf raises. Just up on my tippy toes and then controlled back down. Start to activate that lower body. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Coach J Pro. I'm a former sales leader turned amateur boxer and fitness trainer. This channel is dedicated to boxing for wellness in the form of weekly boxing workouts for all ages and fitness levels. Let's get into a little jump rope. Start to get that heart pumping a little bit. There's a lot of places online where you can learn how to box or if you want to get in the ring. There's a lot of different boxing gyms and MMA gyms. I wanted to explore the other side of boxing training. All of the mental benefits, tension relief, stress relief, not to mention you're getting in the best physical shape of your life. Okay, now on the bag, we're going to go to a little freestyle flow, but I want less than 50% intensity. Just start tapping up that bag, waking up the upper body, getting into rhythm with your back. Find that timing. Still teaching real technique, just focused on the fitness, wellness side of things. Start to find that rhythm and time. One minute rest, then we jump into round. One. If this is your first time working out with me or first time using a reflex bag, I encourage you to go at your own pace, take it nice and easy. This bag might be intimidating at first, but it's all about going at your own pace, finding that rhythm, finding that timing, and then ramping up the speed as you go. If you're one of my subscribers who's been working out with me for over a year, it's cardio day. I challenge you to match my pace and tempo. We're gonna open up this round with a one-two at a combination pace. Then we're gonna transition right into our flow one-two. Then we're gonna add to our initial combo. We're gonna work a one-two pull, two, we'll transition to a power flow, and then we'll finish with a speed freestyle. Really wake up the shoulders, get ready to work today. So let's open up with a nice crisp one, two for 30 seconds. If I'm a beginner, I'm standing right in place. If 
I'm a subscriber. I'm moving around a little bit. Now let's go right into that flow, one, two. Light and continuous. Every week I drop a different workout with a different theme or focus area. Cardio day, it's all about throwing a lot of punches. So let's max it out today. Okay, now we're gonna complete our combo. It's gonna be a one, two, pull, just sort of like slipping backwards to a two. One time slow, one, two, pull, two. Find that time. I always use my jab to center that bag in between combos. Ten seconds. One, two, pull, two. One more. Okay, now we go right into a power flow. One, two. Still continuous, but I'm slowing down and punching at full extension. Punch as hard as your bag will let you. Most reflex bags aren't built for power, so be mindful. Woo. A lot of punches. Step out. Let's finish with a speed freestyle. Let's wake it up here. Anything you want. Keep working. You gotta be incorporating some head movement. Let's go, five seconds. So I touched on it before. Every week I drop a new boxing workout, usually with a different focus area or area of emphasis, like if we're working a defense and counter-punching workout, we might encourage you to slow it down, really feel that form and balance. Cardio day, the focus is really just to try to throw a lot of punches and maximize the number of punches for every set that we're doing. It's how you're gonna get the most out of this workout. We're gonna open up this round with a flow one, two. Then we're gonna go back to that one, two, pull, two. We're gonna step out and hit a jump rope for 30 seconds, active recovery. Then our new combo is gonna be a one, two, five. We might add to that, and then we'll finish with a freestyle. So let's go right back to that flow one, two. Now that freestyle at the end, it's optional. It can be a speed freestyle. I know if you're Steven doing these workouts back to back, it's gonna be a speed freestyle. I might make it a speed freestyle. But at the end of the second round, it's more important that you just really find that zone. So if you need to slow it down a little bit, that's okay. You know what you need to work on better than me. We're gonna go back to that one, two, pull, two. Nothing wrong with starting slow, getting the rhythm down, getting the tempo down. Still throw a lot of punches even if they aren't my hardest. Another set of jump rope. 30 seconds, let's go. We want to be moving this whole time. I'm right there with you.
Wonder who's still gonna be here when I'm dropping those eight round, 10 round workouts. We'll see. Okay, new combo for 30 seconds. We're gonna work a jab, cross, lead uppercut. Nice and simple. One, two, five. Crouching down to my lead side and hinging my hips up through my back. One more. Okay, if you're a beginner, keep going with the one, two, five. If you're a subscriber, let's add a three over the top. Let's make it a one, two, five, three. Try it if you want a challenge. Nothing wrong with just sticking with that one, two, five. One more. Step out for a second, shake it out. Finish with a freestyle. What kind of freestyle is it gonna be? You decide. Let's recap. First combo we drilled today, one, two, pull, two. We're gonna work that for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna work combo number two, one, two, five. We'll add the three if we want a challenge. We're gonna drill that for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna go to a new flow. It's gonna be a one, one, two, two. Remember, flow is our active recovery, nice and light, continuous. Then we're gonna drill a new combo for one minute. It's gonna be a one, two, one, two. Slip lead, slip rear, four. Then we're gonna finish with another speed freestyle. It's only 20 minutes, we wanna max it out. That's what I always tell myself. When I'm pushing through these workouts, it's like, you'll be tired later. Got the rest of the day, the rest of the night to lay down, just push it for the three minutes. Let's go to that one, two, pull, two. But ironically, with the reflex bag, you can't force it. You gotta find the timing first. You can't just swing wild. Once you have that timing down, let's go. One more. Okay, now we're gonna go to that one, two, five. Add the three if you want it tricky. Let's go. One more. All right, let's go to that one, one, two, two. Definitely feeling it in the shoulders. We should be feeling it primarily in the shoulders and back. If we've got wrist pain here or hand pain, that means we're not connecting with our bag the right way. You wanna take down the power and work on your form a little bit. All right, let's step out, new combo. One, two, one, two. Slip lead, slip rear, four. If I'm a beginner, just stick with the one, two, one, two, slip, slip. Balance. And a nice wide stance is the key here. From shadow boxing, nice wide stance. Ah. If, I, if I don't have a good stance, then this gets really uncomfortable. 
15 seconds, let's go. One more. All right, step out for a second. Let's go, let's finish this round strong. Speed freestyle. Ten seconds. Doesn't even matter if you miss. Just keep working. And time. Fourth and final round. Let's put our stamp on this workout. And by the way, it's always good to remember that just showing up is a win here. I say it all the time. Boxing with a moving target is a lot harder than it looks. It doesn't matter if you have boxing experience like myself, whatever level you're at, this is trickier stuff. And from my experience, whenever I'm focused on trying to improve certain, if I wanna work on my hand speed or work on my power, focusing on these things, it's always slower than when I just push that stuff outside and just focus on finding that rhythm, showing up consistently, and then I look at videos of myself and I'm like, whoa, I'm improving in all those areas. So I encourage you to take that same approach if you're working out with me every week. Don't think about power, speed, any of that. Just focus on getting into that zone. So long speech, I guess I'm gonna surprise you. We're going back to that flow one, two. Let's go, last three minutes of work here. As always, I'm with you every step of the way. Okay, in 10 seconds, we're gonna go back to that flow, one, one, two, two, but we're gonna make it a power flow, one, one, two, two. So, this, this, this. Hard one, hard one, hard two, hard two, nonstop. This, 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 this. God, shoulders killing. We go back to that one, two, one, two, slip lead, slip rear, four. If you're not working hooks yet, just work the one, two, one, two, double slip. I know Steven's adding that hook. Who else? All right, let's make it even trickier. If you want a challenge, one, two, one, two, slip, slip, four, three, four. Only if you want the challenge. All right, last minute, we're gonna finish with a freestyle plus call outs. So any type of freestyle you want, but if I say one, two, you'll stop, give me a nice sharp one, two, and then right back to your freestyle. One, two. One, one. One, two, pull two. One, two, pull, two. One, two, five. One, two, slip, slip. One, two, one, two, slip, slip. All right, last 10 seconds, let's see speed. And time, I know that feels good. Whew. 
Nicely done, you just completed another four round cardio boxing workout. And by the way, as this channel continues to grow, I'd love to hear from more and more people. Drop a comment, let me know. I'd love to hear how boxing training is factoring into your overall fitness routine. How can I help you get the most out of your reflex bag? Are you using it for cardio? Are you focused on learning real boxing technique or self-defense? If you live in NYC like I do, that might be something on the top of your mind these days. Or what about upper body strength training, toning, whatever it is, just ask and I will deliver. Thank you so much for working out with me week in and week out. And until the next one, I'll see you again real soon. Ish, 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 ish.